ever wondered how different structures vibrate on their own? In this lecture, I will talk about three common cases, cantilever beams, simply supported beams and beams with spring supports. And to make it practical, I will walk you through four real world examples. So let's break it down and solve it together. By the way, if you are new here, I am Dr. Javed Qureshi, a senior lecturer in Structural Engineering and Design at University of East London. And in here, we talk about structural engineering. This is part of my video series on iStructi, structural behavior, or if you are someone who wants to improve the basics of structural engineering, this video is for you. Here I will solve four examples. The learning outcomes of this lecture will be that you will learn about vibration analysis of very simple beams and you'll be able to determine the natural frequency of a system and understand mass and stiffness and what are the formula to find out uh, these parameters. The first question is that what is natural frequency? Imagine if you have a cantilever beam, one side is fixed and on other side a mass is applied Stiffness is equal to load divided by unit deflection. There are standard formula for these standard cases, but if you don't have any standard case, then what do you do? You simply draw the geometry of the structure and put it in a software and find out the deflection. Once you have got deflection, then you can find out the stiffness because you already have load applied. This is the formula for stiffness 3 EI over L cube when we have a cantilever beam with a point load applied at the end. How about simply supported beam? In case of simply supported beam, when the mass is applied at the center, for this case we have K is equal to 48 EI over L cube. Again, if you have a distributed mass, then uh, the formula is going to be different. So it will really depend on how loading is applied on a system. This is the famous formula, stiffness is equal to omega square m where omega is angular frequency in radians per second and f is natural frequency which i'll talk about in a minute in cycles per second or hertz and m is mass in kgs and ei is fractal rigidity which is newton meter square from here i can find out value of omega omega is equal to under root k over m it means that if I have a stiffness and if I have mass, I can find out angular frequency very easily. Once I've got angular frequency, then frequency in hertz is simply 1 over 2 pi into omega. And time period is 1 over f, where f is frequency. They are inverse of each other. Here, time period is very important when we analyze any structure for dynamic effects then we find out its uh, time period the extreme case is uh, Burj Khalifa in Dubai where the time period was uh, 10 seconds but if the structure is not vibrating much then certainly time second certainly time period is going to be less now how about when we have springs in case of springs it will depend how spring is attached at the end of the beam when a spring is attached at the end and mass is attached to the spring then we consider this as system which is in series so when it is in series we use this formula to find out the equivalent uh, stiffness now most of the time this type of system is very weak because mass is attached to the spring and spring in turn is attached to the beam so mass is not directly attached to the beam so this system tends to be weaker than other system which i'll talk about in a minute here is the other system in this one we have a fixed support at the end and we have mass which is placed on top of the beam and underneath we have a spring this is what we term as system which is a parallel system in which the spring stiffness and beam stiffness they are parallel to each other in this case equivalent stiffness is found out by simply adding two stiffnesses up so two stiffnesses are really helping over here and 
this system tends to be stronger as compared to the system which is a series system. Let us solve our first example which is a simply supported beam with a central load applied. Now what is the fundamental frequency of this massless beam shown below which is assumed to carry a mass of 3000 kg means 3 tons it is roughly equal to the adult African elephants. I think adult African elephant is about maybe 3.5 to 4 tons, slightly less than that. And it is lumped at the center. And the length of the beam is 6 meters. EI flexural rigidity is given, which is 15 to 10 raised 6 Newton into millimeter. Let us see how we can find out these simple formula that we learned a little bit earlier uh, to find out fundamental frequency. There are four options to choose from and I suggest that you solve this question yourself before having a look at the solution. So pause this video now and have a go at the solution using the formula which I mentioned a bit earlier. If you are done with solving the question then I will go to the solution. Here we have solution first we have to find out stiffness of the system. The stiffness of a beam is given by 48 EI over L cube. EI is this value 50 to 10 raised 6 Newton meter square and length is 6 meters. If we plug in these values over here we will be able to find out the stiffness. So using these values stiffness is 11.1 10 raised 6 Newton per meter. Once we have got a stiffness then we will put it in the formula. The formula for frequency in hertz is 1 over 2 pi under root k over m or 1 over 2 pi into omega. Omega is the angular frequency and angular frequency is under root k over m. k we just found out. Mass is over here 3000 kg. If we put these values here, this is the stiffness we found out earlier and mass is 3000 kg which is here. And from here, we can find out the frequency which comes out to be about 9.68 hertz. So all we have to do is to put these values inside this formula. It will tell us the, the frequency of the system. So if we wanted to find out time period of this one, simply you inverse this value. If I say that it, it is roughly equal to 10 hertz, then 1 over 10 becomes 0.1. So it's 0.1 seconds which is quite less. So the correct answer is answer B. We had four options and out of these four options the correct one is 9.7 hertz. All other options are wrong. Let me move to this next question the second example. Here massless cantilever below is shown with a mass of 1000 kg at its tip and what is the natural frequency of cantilever? EI is 17 to 10 raised 6. Now, in this case, we have a cantilever beam. Now, in case of cantilever beam, the only change will be to apply a different stiffness formula. There are four options to choose from. And I suggest that you pause this video now and have a go at this question and see what option is correct using the same formula which I mentioned a bit earlier. Once you are done with solving the question, then I will move to the solution. Here it's a cantilever beam. So certainly stiffness is going to be different as compared to simply supported beam. Now we have 3 EI over L cube. EI is given, L is given. And these are the values of EI and L. When we put these values, then we get the stiffness of this beam as 1.68 into 10 raised 6 Newton per meter. Once we've got these values, then we will apply it in the formula for natural frequency, which is 1 over 2 pi into angular frequency. Here, the formula for ang angular frequency is under root k over m. k, we found out earlier, m is given. And when we put these values, then we get 6.53 hertz. Now tell me, did you get this right? I would be surprised if you didn't because the formula are given and it is very simple to solve. All you have to do is to plug in the values. 6.5 hertz, so the correct answer is option D.
Let me now move to a different question where spring is attached. A massless cantilever beam is loaded with a 1000 kg mass which is attached to a spring. The mass hangs from the free tip of the beam through the spring. The beam is 5 meter long and the spring has a stiffness of 10,000 newton per meter. Determine the natural frequency of the system given EI is equal to 70 to 10 raised 6. EI of the system is same as compared to the previous one. Here the only thing changing is that we have a spring now and we will see how much frequency do we get. There are four options to choose from and I suggest that you solve this question first before having a go at the solution. Now comment your answer uh, down below and tell me what answer did you get and then after that see the solution. We have spring attached to the beam and mass is attached to the spring. This is a typical case of spring in series which means that the formula for this case will be 1 over k equivalent is equal to 1 over k beam plus 1 over k spring. Stiffness of beam is 3 EI over L cube as we found out earlier and it is 1.68 to 10 raised 6 Newton meter. Now we will find out the equivalent stiffness. So K spring is this value 10 into 10 raised 10,000 Newton per meter. This is the formula for equivalent stiffness. We have K beam, we have K spring. When we put these values, then we will get equivalent stiffness. K beam was found out earlier and K spring is given. If we plug in these values, you will get 9,940 Newton per meter. This is the equivalent stiffness of the system. Once we have got a stiffness, then it is fairly easy to find out frequency using the same formula 1 over 2 pi into omega where omega is k over m. Just put these values and frequency is 0.5 hertz. You can see here that by attaching a mass to a spring not directly to the beam, we are having a stiffness which is far less as compared to what we got earlier. It was I think 6.5 something without a spring but now it is 0.5 hertz which means that time period is going to change. If it is half, if we inverse half then time period will be 2. The correct answer is option A, 0.5 hertz. Now tell me did you get it right? Let me now move to the next question where now mass is attached at top of the beam and underneath we have spring and this system looks stronger as compared to the system uh, where mass was hanging off the spring. A massless cantilever beam is loaded with 1000 kg mass which is attached to the free end of the beam. A spring is connected to the bottom of the beam at the loaded end. Uh, the beam is 5 meter long and the spring has a stiffness of 10,000 newton per meter. Determine the natural frequency of the system given EI is equal to 17 to 10 raised 6 Newton meter square. Let us see how we can find our frequency of the system. There are four options to choose from and I suggest that you solve this question first before having a look at solution and I will wait for you to solve it. Pause this video now. When you're finished unpause this video and tell me what answer did you get. Put it down in the comments. Let's now go ahead and solve this question. Here this is the situation where spring is in parallel position which means that stiffnesses of both spring and beam they will be added together. Now beam stiffness is 3 EI over L cube as before and equivalent stiffness will be equal to K beam plus K spring. So when we add these two stiffnesses we get 1.69 10 raised 6 Newton per meter. When we have got a stiffness then we use a simple formula 1 over 2 pi into omega or under root k over m. k we just found out and m is given 1000 kgs. If we plug these values in we get 6.5 hertz which is roughly similar to what we got without a spring here because the stiffness of this spring is not much. It means that it's not helping or it is not causing any issues here. So the correct option is option C.
Now tell me that did you get this right? Don't worry if you didn't, you can always watch back this tutorial.